hopes are also high for sprint king Shane Perkins, who seems to be finding some red-hot form at the right time, as Sophie Smith discovered. When that helmet gets put on and the process leading up to that, and you've got to think about that opponent, like mentally, what are they going to want to do? They want the, the front, the back. You know, if you make a certain move, what's their reaction going to be? You prepare yourself physically, but if you don't turn up there mentally, it's, it's all just going to fall apart. So, yeah, yeah, you do have the crowd as exciting and the TV and stuff like that, but when you get out there one-on-one, -on -one, you know, it's just you and, and the other guy. And, um, you know, I really love that part of it. And, you know, it's a, quite an aggressive sport as well, which is, which is always fun. Shane Perkins is as much a family man as he is an Australian professional track cyclist. He trains here in Melbourne as opposed to Adelaide with the rest of the men's sprint team to spend more time with his growing family. Training by correspondence requires discipline, but with this month's Track World Championships and the 2012 London Olympic Games on his radar, the explosive sprinter is nothing short of motivated. Mentally it takes a lot out of you. Uh, it'd be nice just to Go out there and worry about the efforts, get it done, and then have your coach tell you yes, no. You know, but the thing is, sports not like that. Um, you know, at the end of the day, your coach can't always tell you whether to do more or do less. They work with you and feedback from you. Um, so for me, it is hard because sometimes I can't contact Sean, um, but he does his best to to try and be there for me when I can on the phone, and um, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah, obviously, it is hard sometimes when. Yeah, you know, you're a bit tired and you want to keep doing more, but if you do more, you're actually going to get even more tired. So. Yeah, you need to really have that um, strong-willed mind to say, right, that's enough, come back tomorrow and, and turn it on that day. Perkins trains under the guidance of Sydney-based coach and friend Sean Eady, largely over the telephone. His run to the World Championships has included two gold medals at the Australian track titles in the Sprint and Kieran, and the birth of his second child, Misha. The 24-year-old will compete in both events at the World Titles in Holland, where he hopes to go one better than the silver he won in the sprint last year. I'm hoping to go faster than I did last time, so I um, broke the 10-second barrier last time, so hopefully I can get into the 9.8s. Um, and then the Kieran after that, um, yeah, I'm pretty focused for that as well, uh, more so than last year. I'm looking forward to a good result there. Yeah, if we can go a 9.8 or 9.7, that would be nice. <laughs> The countdown to the London Olympics has officially begun and Perkins is a front runner to represent Australia at the Games for the first time in his illustrious career. But changes to the selection process will see spots in the national team hotly contested. It is pretty cutthroat in terms of, you know, there's only one athlete that gets to ride the sprint, Kieran, um, and then possibly if there's a team sprint um, selected, three riders get to ride that, um, but it's only one event. Um, so yeah, look, it is different obviously to Beijing where they had two starters in each event. So it makes it a lot harder for selection for everyone. Uh, but that's just the way it is and you know, we've got to deal with it and move on and uh, you know, put our best foot forward and you know, try and get that spot. Perkins competed at the Commonwealth Games, winning a bronze medal in the team sprint in 2006 and gold in the individual discipline in 2010. He made headlines in New Delhi for a two-finger salute to officials following relegation in the Kieran. But Perkins says he is all the wiser for the experience as he prepares for his sixth senior world championship and another Kieran season in Japan. I guess I'm experienced in the good and the bad, I guess, but um, that's not a bad thing because I've learned a lot more than others. So, you know, as you say, I'm only 24 and, you know, some people have said that, oh, geez, you're like a 30-year-old. Well, it's, you know, it's because of those things that have happened that, you know, maybe I am wiser, maybe I'm not. but. You know, I've sort of grown up a lot and, um, you know, the sport's helped me through the good and the bad. And, yeah, look, I, I look back on my career and I'm proud of it. Um, you know, if I finished today, I'd, I'd be, still be very proud of it and, and move on. Um, but, uh, you know, Olympics is around the corner, so that's my goal and I won't be stopping until I, I reach that goal. Yes, good luck there to Shane Perkins and the entire Australian squad at the World Titles.